The main essence of the project was to be able to detect and predict volcanic ash clouds from Mount Etna in the central Mediterranean and to warn aviation to keep clear of this whenever it happened. fairly often uh, that there are volcanic ash emissions from Etna because Etna has been active for the last three and a half thousand years. And I live very close to Mount Etna in a very small village and with other guys uh, we follow Mount Etna almost every day, especially when it's in eruption or uh, there's an activity in the summit craters. Many people think Etna only the wonderful lava flow. This is not true. Etna can produce a very explosive activity and uh, can be very dangerous. Two years ago, during the activity on Mount Etna in August, we were on Etna without uh, any possibility to understand the, the next uh, forecast for the next uh, 12 hours. Usually, Mount Etna is uh, it's, it's an independent side of the uh, Catania area, so it's always difficult. And uh, we were for two hours under an ash fall, also rocks about like a, you know, a ping pong ball, for example. Yeah. The, the success of the Vamos Seguro project is the reali realization of uh, the automatic system for forecasting and monitoring volcanic ash and this data are shared with the whole partner inside the project. So for us, this project, Vamos Seguro, it's very helpful because we can predict many hours ago the direction of all the ash plume, of all the rocks that will fall down after the eruption. And the composition of an ash cloud varies from a normal cloud, like a rain cloud or, or just a cloud. It contains in it um, particles of, uh, of iron or, or fine, uh, fine glass, rather, that uh, if it is injected uh, into an engine, of an, into an aircraft engine, then it can really be dangerous. So, so there is a safety issue, so it is very important that this project highlights the, the development of the ash cloud with the appropriate winds if it is coming down, in our case, to Malta. Uh, the most valuable part uh, for me was essentially uh, setting up the measurement station to be able to detect the volcanic ash cloud when it comes over the Maltese islands. This cannot stop here because a model needs to be updated. So we will continue giving up data to the University of Malta and to our Italian counterparts and to look into the future to develop maybe other models which can help us um, primarily for safety of aircrafts. It's important, uh, we have to remember that aircrafts are not just body and wings, there are people, pilots, cabin crew and passengers that we have to guarantee safety. Because volcanic ash does not have any borders, I am part of it. I am part of it. I am part of it. I am part of it.